Huh? Oh, I must have started in my sleep. I knew he was going to be gone. Good grief, what's going on? Marco? Wait, he's gone. The space beside me is empty and cold. Did Marco get up before me? He should have woken me up and let me know at least. Is that Russell again? What's making that noise? What? Is that a piece of paper? Is this another note? It's handwritten, but it has a number at its corner. It looks like a page torn out of a book. Whatever's written on it, it's nonsense to me. Is it in Lurian? Did Marco lose it? I guess I'll take it with me. I guess. All right, we've changed. I wonder if anyone else is awake. Got a bad feeling about this. Marco? Demon rats are still here. Hmm. Nobody's here. Maybe Marco's just down in the basement again. Music changed. I'm not okay with the music change. Wait. Sure? What's she doing on the floor? Oh no. Sure, are you alright? Hey, talk to me. She's asleep? Ugh, thank the heavens she's breathing. For a moment there I thought, she's unconscious though. What the hell happened? Did her wound give her a hard time again? I should get her upstairs. Oh, hello? Shira, are you there? Oh! Holy shit! Don't scare me like that! Whoa, what the hell happened? I was hoping you could tell me. I found her dad like this down in the basement. I think she's just unconscious. I'll place her on the bed. What is happening? I was asleep this whole time! Cher was supposed to be asleep here with me too! Wait, you said you found her in the basement. What the hell were you doing down in the basement? I was looking for Marco. Oh boy, I'm guessing he didn't go downstairs for a midnight snack. I don't know, we also went to bed together and I just woke up alone. So I went looking for him. Did he do this? I have no idea. I've looked everywhere, but I couldn't find him. Wait, I didn't check the front yard yet. Nor the cold storage. Shit, I should have seen something like this coming. I knew this whole situation was just too good to be true. What do you mean? Read some novels sometime! Shira, this isn't the time for jokes. Do you see me laughing? I am completely serious. We need to plan our next steps and be careful about it. Any news on Yvonne or Apris? I didn't see them anywhere, so they might just be asleep in their room. I went straight to you after I found Sure. Which is either a good thing or a very bad thing. Why do you say that? You're aware that I can't trust you, right? For all I know, all of this might be part of your plan. What guarantee do I have that this whole thing isn't some kind of ruse you and Marco came up with? Am I next on the list? With that way of thinking, I shouldn't be trusting you either. Sadly, that's how it works. <sighs> oh, well, this is just great. Wait, where are you going? Yvonne, Apris, can you hear me? I'm having a meeting. I had enough of your shenanigans. Oh, you look good. You don't have to shout. What's wrong? Oh, good. 
You're all right. Is Yvonne with you? Aw. Mm-hmm. Good morning. As you can see, she's a heavy sleeper. Just give her a moment. Marco went missing, and Cher is unconscious. Hmm. Huh? What? what happened I wish I knew. We were in this room the whole time. I didn't sleep, so I did hear someone walking down the stairs, but I didn't make much of it. When was that? A few hours ago the first time. The second and third time didn't happen that long ago. I'm guessing that was you going down and coming back up then. Considering the development we're in, let me just point out that it was a bit irresponsible of you to leave Sher alone with me like that. Huh? We should stick together from now on. I have no idea what happened, but leaving anyone on their own at this point is another potential disaster in the making. Until we figure out what's happening, I agree. Where do we want to go? The library? The kitchen? Stay in one of the rooms? The library is the most spacious. I'll carry Sher downstairs, then. Really? Let me help you with that. I'm surprised she didn't get Apris to just carry her like last time. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid this is a worse condition than just being unconscious. What's wrong with her? Her soul seems to be gone. What? Sure. What? So she's just a lifeless vessel now? Well, technically, she's still alive. You could consider her being in a coma. But if her consciousness doesn't come back and she stays like this... Her body won't be able to sustain itself on its own. In other words, she's going to starve to death. Or die of dehydration. <sighs> could we keep feeding her somehow? We could try. But if she doesn't wake up at all anymore, there wouldn't be much point in doing that, would there? <sighs> well, sure is one thing. Marco is still missing. Whether he's somehow tied into this or not. I wanted to check the front yard because I haven't gotten the chance to look there yet. Should we go with you? I'd like to see if the books won't tell us anything about Miss Sure's condition, if you wouldn't mind. In this situation, every minute counts. All right, then. I really don't like the idea of us splitting up, but I guess there's no helping it. You two stay here. I'll accompany Mariko. Yeah, are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Come on. That's unusual of you to offer. There don't seem to be any fresh bodies in the bushes. No Marcos here, either. The last place to look is the cold storage. Please don't tell me someone locked him up in there. You know... I wasn't sure if I should ask, but... I notice you've been scratching your hand for a while now. Are you okay? Huh? I was so absorbed with everything that I haven't even realized. But Shara's right. My hand does feel somewhat itchy. Mm. What? <gasps> what? Yeah, what? What happened to your finger, woman? What? I'm not the expert here, but that sure as hell doesn't look healthy. Are those bruises? I have no idea what this is. But now that I think about it, my whole hand's starting to feel a little stiff. <laughs> Let's go check the cold storage in the kitchen. Are you sure you wouldn't want Yvonne to check up on you first? I don't know, man. Hmm. No Marcos in the cold storage, either. Which is reassuring. And both worrying. Where is he, then? We can't just keep messing, mi messing, missing him. Would you like us to double-check every room? Let us do that, please. 
I guess. I mean, what else can we do? Hmm. So, either he's hiding somewhere and doesn't want to be found, or he's managed to find a way out of here. The possibilities are endless. What are the odds that his time in the barrier ran out? I mean, we all assume that it's our first time being inside of such a barrier. What if it's not? What if we all have less time to spare than we think we do? You know, that's one scary thought. And now that you point that out, it actually freaks me out that none of us thought about that earlier. He could be dead and buried somewhere in either of the yards by now, too. Uh, you don't sugarcoat anything, do you? Not really the time for sugarcoating. Guys, we might have another problem. What happened? Did you find him? We didn't. But Mariko... Yeah, I've got some- oh, it's spreading. That's not good. Are you fading? Uh, crap, is it just me or is this stuff spreading worryingly fast? Oh dear. Miss Mariko, your hand! We noticed it when we were out in the courtyard. Any idea what's happening to me? Would you mind if I inspected it? Go ahead. Whatever you can tell me, girl. <gasps> I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to! Holy crap, man! What the actual F? Did your finger just fall off? Uh... It didn't fall off. It crumbled to ash. The claw fell off simply because there's nothing to keep it in place anymore. Oh my goodness. Well, this is... worrying. You seem to be taking this quite well. No kidding! How are you able to stay so calm? It doesn't hurt. It's just sort of... itchy. No, no, no. Whatever you do, don't scratch it, Miss Mariko. That would probably make it spread faster. Do you know what's wrong with me? I believe... this might be caused by some kind of curse. Miss Mariko, you needed to get cursed somehow. And it's possible that the claw was stopping the curse from spreading all along. A curse? Why did this start spreading all of a sudden, then? Possibly because the spell cast on the claw stopped working? Could we still recast it? Maybe, if I knew what kind of spell it was. Not only that, we'd need to put some kind of bracelet or glove on your hand at this point for it to work. I'm not sure if it would be possible to reverse the damage that's been already done. Shit, so we're running out of time as we speak. And if we don't stop it... Uh. Finding the right book might take some time. Assuming there even is one that could help us with this. Well, trying to find it is still better than standing around and waiting for a fairy godmother to appear. Afras, would you mind looking for something that could work as a bracelet? I'll do that. Wait... I just remembered something. What is it? I woke up with some kind of note in my bed. I thought Marco had lost it and I couldn't make sense of it, but... maybe? Don't tell me! Well? What is it? A thing to stop the curse? This page... I don't get a word this is saying! Well, the page number seems to be 43. That's where my input ends. These look like just random scribbles to me. What about you, Yvonne? Are you able to read it? Not all of it, but... Well, it's more than any of us can make out. Um, if I'm understanding this right, this is an enchantment spell that freezes an item in time. For a set amount of time. So that claw of yours really needed to be enchanted with it. So basically, it was keeping your finger frozen in time and stopping the curse from spreading. From what I understand, the spell has a limit for how long it can work during a single use, so it needs to be recast before it stops working for a continuous effect. Like, over and over again. That's kind of a nasty thing to live with. Not to mention that losing your memories is practically a death sentence with that kind of condition. 
Will you be able to recast it? Um, the spell seems horribly complicated. To be honest, I'm not sure where to even begin. Figuring this out could take weeks. Shit. <sighs> I have no idea how or when I got this curse, but I've been if I, if I've been living with this for a while now, I needed to know this spell or someone needed to be casting it for me. If Marco was the one who left this page behind, he needed to have some kind of idea about all this. So he left you this page, hoping at least one of us would be able to learn this spell in the span of an hour. We can barely tell what's written on this shitty piece of paper. No offense, but I'd smack him across the face for this. Maybe he hoped I'd be able to remember something if I saw it. But if I really knew the spell and used it before, I honestly can't recall any of it. The only thing that comes to my mind at this point I suppose we're out of options. I need someone's help to cut off a limb. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Alright. Um. I was worried you'd say that. Apris, would you do me the honors? I won't be able to do this on my own. If that's what you want, I'll give you a hand with it. Miss Mariko, wait. I'm afraid that won't solve the problem. The curse is going to keep on spreading regardless. This kind of curse, the source of your condition, it's not tied to your body, it's tied to your soul. Are you sure? Why would it spread from my finger then? Perhaps that's where the curse was placed. It's possible you came into contact with a cursed object by simply touching it. Thing is, my claw got caught on Marco's necklace. Is that connected at all to this curse now? I wonder. Hmm. Wow, is something like that even a thing? Again, are you sure? You'll only end up with more suffering if you try getting rid of it in such a way, Miss Marco. Please don't do that. <sighs> so much for that idea, then. What do I do, then? Shit, it's crumbling again. It's almost at my elbow by now. I should watch my movements a bit more. Stay very still. I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do to help you. It's not your fault, Yvonne. Is this the point where we should ask you about any last requests? Miss Shira! What? I'm being serious! There's no point in denying it. She's going to die in the next hour. Face reality. We might as well do something for her while we still have the chance. How can you be so insensitive about it, though? Patting her on the back and telling her everything's going to be okay won't solve anyone's problem. I swear, nobody here knows when to stop. You can say that again. <laughs> That's thoughtful of you, Shara. But I think I just want to be left alone at this point. <sighs> Can I go crumble into the bath at least? <laughs> so, this is a thing that's happening. Honestly, I didn't expect things to end this way. The lack of answers is frustrating. We didn't manage to find a way out, and we still have no idea why we're here to begin with. Not that it matters to me anymore. I wonder what happened to Marco. And to Cher, for that matter. Marco, did you really leave that page behind for me? Did you know something like this was going to happen? Hey. I know you said you wanted to be left alone, but... Maybe you'd still like to have some wine with me? Uh oh, hello. Belny's bin binyarde <laughs> bin I don't know what that says. I found an unopened bottle down in the basement. I remember that alcohol always helped me relax, so I figured <laughs> I was about to pull a Shira and say, are you trying to poison me now? But I mean I'm crumbling to dust, so why not? 
Some line actually sounds really good right now. Bottoms up, then. <laughs> Sorry for not thinking ahead and bringing some glasses for us. I was kind of in a hurry. Drink as much as you'd like. Well, at least it smells like wine. Tastes like it, too. I guess that basement turned out good for something. Hmm. Is it funny that I wish I had one of Marco's potions right now? Then I could just fall asleep and not think about this anymore. Mm. Well, maybe I can just pass out here. Would you mind if I leaned on your shoulder? Um. Go ahead. Thanks, Shara. You know, I saw Yvonne crying on my way here. I guess it's no surprise that she's not taking the whole situation well. Mariko, you really did drink those potions with Marco, didn't you? Yes, we really did. Okay. In case it wasn't obvious yet, Cher and I, we didn't touch them. Wait. Neither did Apris and Yvonne, though. That means me and Marco were the only ones to drink them. We just acted like we did. We figured that playing along could help us figure something out. But it seemed that Marco couldn't tell whether we actually drank them or not. Or maybe he really didn't care, just like he said from the beginning. Also, there's something else. Something else? Back when we drew the cards and you got the king. Do you remember what card I drew? I was pretty vocal about it when Yvonne decided to pair it with Apris. Yeah, the bloody nine. Oh, right. You were surprised you didn't end up with him since you got the nine. Yeah. What of it? I actually kept the card I drew with me. Take a look at it now. What? What? That's... The king. What? Wait, you mean... I wondered. I'm like, does it not matter which card you pick? Because Marco is going to ensure that you get the king in the first choice regardless? And then act at all surprised that we picked him? Weird, so he's a master of illusions as well. Well, at least I know going forward that it doesn't matter what card I pick, I can pick any any card. It'll always be the king for me. Hmm. It's going to be interesting to see what Marco's reaction is when I don't pick him from, from the next time I play through this. <clears throat> it seems I was right. Marco noticed I was trying to tamper with the cards because he was doing the same thing himself. He put illusions on the cards? How else would you explain this? What I don't get, though. If he had the ability to do this, why didn't he simply take the king for himself? Why did he give it to you? Did he do it just to avoid being suspicious, or... Did Marco want you to get the king for some reason? Did he assume you'd choose him? Or was he... hoping you'd choose someone else? <coughs> I guess none of that really matters anymore. Damn, this whole situation sucks. I know this probably won't be much of a comfort to you, but... trying to be realistic here? There's no telling that the remaining three of us will be able to get out of here alive, either. If anything, you'll suffer less than we'll do. The prospect of staying here all alone with Yvonne and Apris kind of scares me, to be honest. It's likely we'll start running out of food eventually, too. Those kind of situations always bring out the worst in people. Nobody said you won't find a way out of here, though, so don't give up just yet. I hope you'll manage to figure something out. Either way, I'm afraid it's slowly starting to reach my lungs. 
so. It still amazes me how you were able to stay so calm. I'm pretty sure I'd be freaking out if I were in your situation right now. Hell, I'm kind of freaking out as it is, and you're the one going through this. Is it weird that I'm not scared? On top of everything, it doesn't hurt, so... Maybe the realization of what's happening to me hasn't actually sank in yet. I suppose that's... some kind of comfort. <coughs> Thanks for sticking around. You don't have to thank me for that. Also... oh. Also, if Marco ever comes back while we're still around, I'll be sure to kick his ass for you. That's a promise. Thanks, Shara. Marco! Bad end A! We did it! What number of red clues needed to unlock Marco's true route? Six? Oh. Does that mean I can't actually do Marco's true route yet? <laughs> huh. Well. I'm gonna have to look into that one, I guess. Is there anything else? Number of red clues found in Marco's bad route, one out of one. Number of red clues found overall, one of six. So every red clue I find is going to be for Marco. I unlocked it. Hold on, I'm just gonna save this for a second. Cause I'm like, have we started over? My lady. My lady, please! Wake up! Mariko, wake up! We're in a loop? Whoa. It seems like we're in a loop. Like if I skipped. Yeah. It just keeps... It's, does it just keep going? Wow, it really just... loops. Okay, well. I'll just go to the start menu for now. We'll... We'll do that in... I need to go look up some, some things now. <laughs> okay, first of all, thank you guys for watching through Marco's Bad End A. I won't end up doing Marco's True Route, it seems, for quite a while. But I gotta go see if I can at least do his normal route. Or if he has any more routes that are unlockable as of yet. I think there is, but I'll, I'll double check. Hopefully I'll see you over there, guys. Thanks again for watching. Until then, see you later. Hey guys, this is Girl Got Game from the future. <laughs> uh, many hours later, after scouring the internet trying to dodge all the spoilery stuff, I discovered that um, Marco does not have a normal ending and his true route is locked behind gathering clues. So that's actually the end of Marco's route for now. I did see that you should be able to find not only a red clue, but a green clue on Marco's route. And I tried playing through it a couple of times to see if I could get that, but then when I looked, well, I'll just show you. I'll load the last save we had done. If you look under clues, I actually have both the red and green clues. Apparently most people only got the green clue when they uh, when they played on Marco's route and then had to unlock the red clue or vice versa, I can't remember. Um, but I apparently unlocked both of them in one go, so there's nothing more to see here for now. Um, so yeah, that's it for Soul Set for right now. I hope you enjoyed Marco's route, what there is of it so far. We'll have to come back to that weird boy and see what happened with him and why he disappeared on us and everything. But for now, we're going to be going back to Backstage Pass, and we're going to be trying to do Alvin's route, which is apparently the most difficult route in that game. So, we'll see. 
I'm gonna look up some things to help me along with that, because I'm not confident enough in myself to, to ace Alvin's route. But I hope you guys are excited to see that, and I hope to see you over there, guys. Until then, see you later.